Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing a first impression on the Friendcation palette from the Desi Katie Dose of Colors collaboration. Here is the palette right here. It is super sparkly and colorful and then the colors on the inside are super pretty and the mattes are very blendable. The shimmers are super nice and I'm really excited to do more looks with this palette. In addition to today's first impression, I'm also going to be putting out two more looks with this palette this week, so keep an eye out for those on Thursday and Saturday. And without further ado, let's get into the video. Okay guys, so I have primed my lid with the MAC Painterly Paint Pot and set it with a translucent powder. So I am ready to start this tutorial. I'm so excited. I can't wait. Okay, so as you can probably tell from the intro and the title, we are doing the Desi Katie Dose week. I'm super excited. I'm going to do three looks this week and they're all going to be using the collection. The star of the collection is the Friendcation palette and I have not used this palette yet. I also picked up a couple lipsticks and the highlighters. I'm super excited about the highlighters. I've already used those so it's not going to be a first impression on that but I definitely have only swatched a couple of the shades in the palette already so this is mostly going to be a first impression. I have not put this on my eyes yet and I'm very excited to get started. So this is the packaging for the palette. It's very pretty rose gold type of situation going on. Very similar to the original launch. And this palette retails for $55 on Ulta.com. You can get this at Ulta so you can use your points to purchase. I got this from the Dose of Colors website on the day that it launched. I haven't had time to film with this at all. So we're gonna take it out of the box. Look how gorgeous the outside of this packaging is. Now I have the Fuego highlighter from the original collection. So this collection here, the new collection is just a little bit darker on the sparkle, but still extremely pretty. And I think it's nice that they have like the same theme going on, but a little bit of a different color. It does have the names of the eyeshadows on the back. And then you open it up and you have all of the gorgeous colors. You also have a nice size mirror. And here is the palette. So nice. It has some really nice neutral matte colors and some gorgeous shimmers. So I'm just going to dig right in. Okay, so the first shade that I'm gonna go into with my Morphe M511 is this shade right here. And I'm gonna see how this goes for a transition color. Ooh. Uh, uh. <laughs> I already know. I already know. I already know so hard that I like wanna buy another one. Oh my god. <sighs> Stay calm. Look at that. Look at that blend. Wow. Look at that. Look at that blend. That's freaking gorgeous. Ah! Okay, I'm only on the first color. I am gonna deepen that up and I'm gonna use this shade right here with a Morphe M573. Pretty. This color is really pretty. All right, and then I'm just gonna take the first brush, no additional product, blend that in. Now for the mauve part, I'm gonna be taking a Morphe M433 and Girl By, which is this color right here. And I'm gonna put that on the inner and outer corner and connect it in the middle. Thank you. 
gorgeous. All right, and then I'm just gonna take a little bit more of that second shade. Blend that out. And then the first shade. Woo, yay, that's pretty. I'm just gonna deepen that up a little bit more. So now I'm gonna take my MAC 242 brush and this shade Try Me. I lied, I'm gonna take my finger and yes. All right, and then on my pinky finger, I'm just gonna take a little bit of Just a Kiss. And I'm gonna put that right in the center. I feel like it gives it a little dimension. Ooh, hi. Okay. Sparkle kind of gets like everywhere though, I'm not gonna lie about it. it. It gets everywhere. So now I'm gonna do the lower lash line. I'm gonna take the BH Cosmetics Small Crease Brush and that necessary shade right here. And I'm gonna hold my mirror up and I'm gonna look up into the mirror and I'm gonna put that shade under the lower lash line. And then I'm gonna be taking the NYX Professional Makeup Faux White eyeliner in seashell and I'm gonna put that in my waterline and then I am going to be taking this is the E36 and that girl by shade and I'm gonna run that under the lower lash line right up against the lashes then I'm just gonna take a little bit of that darker shade the churro shade on a morphe E18 just to deepen that up and make it match the top lash line and then I'm gonna go back in with my first brush and blend that out so now I have both of the highlighters we have fuego right here and chasing the Sun right here I'm actually gonna use both of them today. I'm gonna take Chasing the Sun and I'm going to put that on my Morphe M510. Super pretty. As I said, I have used this before. I think this is really nice for like when you have like a natural tan and you use it on a bare face. So pretty. You do wanna be a little bit more tan when you wear this. And then I'm gonna do Fuego right on top to give that super intense glow. And then I'm also going to take Fuego and my BH Cosmetics smudger brush and I'm gonna put that under my brow bone and inner corner. All right, just like that. Okay, let me go do some lashes and mascara and we will be back to do lips. Okay guys, so lashes and mascara is on and I'm loving how it turned out. And we are ready for lips. Ooh! So excited so the lipstick that I'm using today is a mob story again here is the packaging very pretty the little tube looks like this this is a liquid lipstick they also had two bullet lipsticks so here is the packaging and this is what the color looks like very pretty I'm very excited for this so what I am going to do first is I'm going to use a little bit of uh, Candy K Lip Liner by Kylie Jenner. And then I'm gonna go in with the liquid lipstick. All 
Okay guys, so this is the finished look. I think it turned out so pretty. I love it so much. I think it's soft and pretty and so wearable and I really think this would be gorgeous for like date night. Mmm, look at that highlight. Loving the lipstick with this whole look. Just gorgeous. So, my overall first impression of this palette is that I love it. I think it's going to be a staple in my collection. I think I'm going to use it a lot. And I can't wait to do more looks with it. As I said earlier, this week is dedicated to this collaboration. So if you'd like to see more looks, then just stay tuned. I do put out new videos every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. So keep an eye out for those. If you did like this video, I would appreciate it if you gave it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And if you'd like to be notified when I upload, hit that little bell next to the subscribe button. And I hope you guys have a great day or night wherever you are. Toddy buys. I'm going to be taking my Morphe M511. It's just a large fluffy brush and I am going to zoom you in. <laughs> I got you excited. Okay, let's zoom you in and we're going to get started.